It seems like everything these days costs more money. A simple trip to the grocery store can eat up more of your family's budget than ever before. And for some families, just affording the basics is becoming difficult. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. David Targan and welcome to BioBytes. With the global population surging at 6.7 billion and on its way to reaching 9 billion by 2050, the world's food production will probably need to double. So between the world's expanding population and the current global climate changes, efforts to grow more food will be inhibited by water shortages. You might wonder, how? Well, you and I only drink about a quarter to a water a day. But in that same day, the food Americans eat requires 2,000 to 3,000 quarts of water to produce it. When farmers experience poor growing conditions, their crops can be reduced by up to 70% or more. And around the world, the amount of land affected by drought has doubled in the past 30 years. We need alternatives and fast. That's where biotechnology is breaking through again. Biotech crops that are drought resistant may play an important role in enhancing food production. So how is that possible? Well, during droughts, plants naturally drop leaves to favor the roots. That's not the best agricultural response, since the plant will then not produce in order to self-preserve. One way to help avoid this is by using what are called transcription factors, which are like master regulators. They are able to turn on dozens of other genes in the plant to help orchestrate its response to a lack of water. For example, instead of gulping water, the plant could just sip water so you get more crop per drop. This isn't just happening in labs. For four years now in the Midwest, Colorado, and California, drought tolerant corn and canola plants have been in field trials. Maintaining crop yields on America's farmland has become even more important with the growing demand for crops for both food and fuel. So, the challenge is to get as much yield as possible from each acre of land. Droughts hurt these yields. However, plants capable of tolerating drought stress could help farmers maintain yields through periods of dry conditions. Finally, on a global scale, drought-resistant crops could provide life-saving benefits for those who live in areas like Sub-Saharan Africa. Imagine being able to grow food in an otherwise barren, dry landscape where sustenance-giving crops are much needed. It could not only potentially save lives, but it may help to boost the local economies as well. Drought-resistant crops are just another way that biotechnology is helping to heal, fuel, and feed the world. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.